What's up guys? This is a business reading for a Pisces with a business or business idea. Giving you advice on to the keys to success for your particular business. Goodness, these keep them out today. These cups, these three of cups. Well, I got my keys, but ooh, child. What you got on? On Pisces. Yes. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna Oh, what is going on with your business, Pisces? Okay, I'll leave it here. And I'll pull some oracle for you. So far we have the Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Devil, Capricorn card. We have, um, that just came out for Aquarius, expect Capricorn change. That annoys me when they come out again like that. But it's a reason that it came out. So I'm going to keep it. Oh, no, spirit. I'm not keeping on these cards. Forget it. We have full moon in Capricorn. This is cool. You got new moon in Pisces came out. You're, you came out in your own reading. The sign came out. That happens with Aquarius, too. All right, I'll keep it. <clears throat> Again, so you have the six of pentacles. You have the three of cups, two of cups, the devil, Seven, I mean, eight of wands, ace of wands, five of cups, seven of wands. Expect powerful change. Three of wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn and meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Let me read these cards and see what spirit is, is saying to you about your business to give you spiritual insight into what makes your business successful. And while I do that, watch this quick video and I will be right back. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides that give me strategy, they help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car, if you want to manifest more money, if you want to manifest more life, a divine partner, a baby, whatever it is that you are yearning for, allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals. I'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people, hit the link below. Thank you, good luck, and peace. What's up, Pisces? So I looked over your reading. I want to start with your oracle cards. And it is the end of a tough cycle approaches. Expect powerful change and meditate and contemplate. All three of these is about a new cycle. Your business is about to enter a new phase or a new cycle that's more prosperous, that's uh, better than it was before. That also alludes to the energy, the overall energy of your reading from the bottom of the deck is the three of wands, which is about long-term success. It's about being in alignment with your vision for your business, um, in alignment with your strategy, implementing that strategy, going towards that strategy, creating long-term success for your business. Okay, so the first card you have is the six of pentacles. This is a tuning to, and I clarified a lot of these cards too. Because I just really wanted to what the hell spirit was talking about. Um, this is a long term this is long term success. So you have the six pinnacles showing a balance between giving and receiving, a balance between what the value you offer in your customers and the value that you're receiving in return. It's a successful it's a successful um, balanced transaction, bringing you prosperity and adding value to your customers. Uh, and it's gonna bring you success. Your cup runneth over. Uh, with the next card being the Three of Cups, is celebration. It's, and the Two of Cups is a celebration and collaboration with others. This is coming together of you and partnerships. This is you and your business partners, or this is you and your people celebrating the level of success uh, that you have obtained. But the way I feel in this reading is this is, hasn't happened yet. This is on the horizon, but what's keeping you from this celebration, what's keeping you from this success in your business, what's keeping you from this positive transactions and positive partnerships and positive connections is you worried about the wrong shit. 
Sorry to be so frank, but you worried about the wrong shit. Like you have success, right? You're on the brink of success. The end of a tough cycle approaches, powerful changes is about to happen to you, but you focus on the wrong shit and it's time for you to focus on what's more important, which is your business, the long-term success of your business, your vision and new ideas and collaborations. Um, yeah, with this 10 of swords, it's ending. This tough cycle is ending. And maybe you've been stagnant with this page of wands. You haven't been putting in the work because you've been worried about the wrong shit. And it's time for you to focus on what's important. But once you do that, things will manifest for you and your business very quickly. You know, results will come in very quickly once you start re regain your focus and start, you know, putting the energy back into your business and focusing on your business and your long-term vision and success for your business instead of, you know, maybe some things, the tough cycles that you went through, or you probably went through some jealousy, you probably went through some hate, you probably went through some, um, some tough times in your business, but that's coming to an end. Start focusing on your business and putting the energy and the effort required in to take your business to the next level. Yeah, then you have the Ace of Wands out of nowhere you get a blessing or out of nowhere you get inspiration or out of nowhere something comes in and it, and it gives you the much needed breakthrough that you know because when i took the bottom of the deck when i took the card off of it the next two cards was the ace of swords and the page of swords so this is news coming in that's going to be a breakthrough for you you're going to have some type of message or some type of news come in uh, that's very positive and takes you to you know the ends this tough cycle and takes your business into the next phase um yeah, I can tell that it's been some conflict, though, because the next card is the Five of Cups, and it's conflict. You know, I clarified the Five of Cups, and I got conflict. So you may have been focused on the wrong shit. With looking on the, you may have been focused on what went wrong, the past, or, you know, something that went wrong or something in the past instead of focused on what's behind you, which is the opportunity. So once you turn around and you stop focusing on this conflict and you maybe you really need to meditate and contemplate like this new moon of Pisces card says. And maybe you need to go in and seek new insight and clarity so that you can turn around and focus on this opportunity that's available to you. Because again, the first card you got was abundance and success and celebration and collaboration and, and so honoring connections and partnerships. All great cards. But then it's like you're going back and forth from the good to the bad, from the good to the bad, to the good, you know. So just focus on the good. Focus on this new level that you're taking to your, you know, this new phase that your business is entering and your long-term vision and success instead of focusing on negativity. Fight for your business. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for the service, the product that you're providing because clearly it adds value. It adds value to your customers and it adds value to you. There's an equal give and take between you and your customers and the value you're adding and the value you're getting. And it's worth fighting for if you focus on the right thing. Let go of this negative energy. Let go of this um, whatever it is that you're worried about in the background. Focus on your long-term vision. Start putting the action in required to manifest this level of success because it's right there. You're right on the brink of success. You're right on the brink of the next level and the next phase in your business. But you have to focus on what's important so that you can receive as much needed breakthrough is coming. The news is coming. There is a breakthrough coming in your business. You just got to turn around. It may already even be there. Listen, these cups are already there. All this person has to do is turn around. Instead of focusing on the three that fail, let's focus on these two that's right there waiting for you to manifest success in your business. If this helps, I hope this helps. I hope it brings love and light and, you know, lead you to just clarity and success in your business. If not, click the link in my description for a private reading for your business or for yourself. And um, I'll be more than happy to help you. I wish you love and light in your business. Peace.